Hello and welcome back to the 2018 to 2022 Technician Class Amateur Radio Question Pool. My name is Michael Dickerson, KC9PHK, and welcome on behalf of the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club located in southeastern Illinois. Today we're going to cover video number three, sub element T1F. Sub-element T1F covers station identification, repeaters, third-party communications, club stations, and FCC inspection. T1F01. When must the station licensee make the station and its records available for FCC inspection? A. At any time 10 days after notification by the FCC of such an inspection b. at any time upon request by an FCC representative, c. only after failing to comply with an FCC notice of violation, or d. only when presented with a valid warrant by an FCC official or government agent. Correct answer is b. at any time upon request by an FCC representative. T1F02, when using Tactical identifiers such as race headquarters during a community service net operation. How often must your station transmit the station's FCC assigned call sign? A. Never. The tactical call is sufficient. B. Once during every hour. C. At the end of each communication and every 10 minutes during a communication. Or D. At the end of every transmission. Correct answer is C at the end of each communication and every 10 minutes during a communication. T1F03. When is an amateur station required to transmit its assigned call sign? A. At the beginning of each contact and every 10 minutes thereafter. B. At least once during each transmission. C. At least every 15 minutes during and at the end of a communication. Or D. At least every 10 minutes during and at the end of a communication? Correct answer is D, at least every 10 minutes during and at the end of a communication. T1F04, which of the following is an acceptable language to use for station identification when operating in a phone subband? A, any language recognized by the United Nations? B, any language recognized by the ITU? C. The English language, or D. English, French, or Spanish. Correct answer is C. The English language. T1F05. What method of call sign identification is required for a station transmitting phone signals? A. Send the call sign followed by the indicator RPT. B. Send the call sign using a CW or phone emission. C. Send the call sign followed by the indicator R. Or D. Send the call sign using only a phone emission. Correct answer is B. Send the call sign using a CW or phone emission. T1F06. Which of the following formats of a self-assigned indicator is acceptable when identifying using a phone transmission? A. KL7CC stroke W3, B, KL7CC slant W3, C, KL7CC slash W3, or D, all of these choices are correct. The correct answer is D, all of these choices are correct. T1F07, which of the following restrictions apply when a non-licensed person is allowed to speak to a foreign station using a station under the control of a technician class control operator. A. The person must be a U.S. citizen. B. The foreign station must be one with which the U.S. has a third party agreement. C. The license control operator must do the station identification. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Correct answer is B. The foreign station must be one with which the U.S. has a third-party agreement. T1F08. What is meant by the term third-party communications? 
Hey, a message from a control operator to another amateur station control operator on behalf of another person. B. Amateur radio communications where three stations are in communications with each other. C. Operation when the transmitting equipment is licensed to a person other than the control operator. Or D. Temporary authorization for an unlicensed person to transmit on amateur bands for technical experiments. Correct answer is A. A message from a control operator to another amateur station control operator on behalf of another person. T1F09. What type of amateur station simultaneously retransmits the signals of another amateur station on a different channel or channels? A. Beacon station. B. Earth station. C. Repeater station. Or D. Message forwarding station. Correct answer is C. Repeater station. T1F10. Who is accountable should a repeater inadvertently retransmit communications that violate the FCC rules? A. The control operator of the originating station. B. The control operator of the repeater. C. The owner of the repeater. Or D. Both the originating station and the repeater owner. Correct answer is A. The control operator of the originating station. T1F11. Which of the following is a requirement for the issuance of a club station license grant? A. The trustee must have an amateur extra class operator license grant. B. The club must have at least four members. C. The club must be registered with the Amateur Radio Relay League. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Correct answer is B. The club must have at least four members. All right, that concludes video number three for this series. I would encourage you to please continue on studying, and hopefully you can get your technician class license based on the assistance of these slides. Again, these slides are available for non-commercial use for amateur radio license preparation and amateur radio classes with reference to the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club as a developer. We also ask that you please reference our website, http colon forward slash forward slash www.claycountyradio.webs.com. Thank you.